Okay, this video is about changing skins. I like to use minecraftskins.net just because it has nice big pictures and it doesn't have as much advertising. There is also the skin decks, which is pretty good. Plenty of advertising though. And if you have an iPad or an iPhone or something like that, there is heaps of great apps in the app store. Just search skin editor Minecraft and you'll get some really excellent apps. I really enjoy making them on the um, on the iPad or I, on my iPhone actually. Okay, so we've got different categories across the top here. It's cool just to have an explore, see what's out there. Um, mobs, what have we got here? Oh, there's some cool ones there. Okay, we can search in the search bar if we have something specific. I'm going to search 007. I was named after James Bond, so let's put my James Bond skin back on. There we go. That's cool. Okay, this one here has been shot in the back. All right. So, uh, we've got three options here to edit, download, or change. Download is if you want to download it using a program like Photoshop. I'm just going to edit it straight on the computer though, much easier. Okay, here's James Bond. I'm just going to just make some simple changes here. <laughs> just change the colour of his eyes. Uh, let's give him a purple tie. Now, notice here I can change the shade of the colours, which is a good thing to do. Okay, we don't want them all the same shade. It looks a bit unreal. Okay, it takes time to do this, but it's worth it. You can toggle and move around, do the top of his head, do under his cheek. You can even do his feet and under there. Okay, so you can get really, really detailed. Okay, so when I'm finished, um, I'm going to change those eyes back. I'm going to click change. That's going to automatically open up minecraft.net in another window and we're going to log in. Okay, my details are already auto filled in this because I use this computer all the time. Then I click sign in <coughs> and it's logged me in. Now some, okay, I'm logged in now. I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna click change again. Okay, now that I'm logged into Minecraft, normally that doesn't happen, but now that I'm logged in, I'm just going to simply click change. Now for some of you, there will be a step before this when that when it comes up with confirm your identity. They are questions that your parents would have put in when they made your account, and I'll put a screenshot of that up there so you can see what that looks like. So you'll need to sit down with your mum or your dad or whoever made your account and answer those questions. It just comes up the first time you do it on a new computer or a different computer. Okay, I'm going to click change and your skin has been changed. If you've downloaded it to, to your computer, now you would upload it here. Okay, it takes a few seconds, sometimes a few minutes to be up, updated on your Minecraft game. It helps if you log out and log back into your game. When you log back in, it should be updated already. Okay, thanks for watching.